for help. New tonight, we're hearing the desperate radio call from firefighters trapped inside a burning Saugus home. The good news, all of those men are alive tonight. And it's all thanks to their fellow firefighter brothers. WBZ's Jim Armstrong is on the story tonight, live in Saugus. Jim? Paula, I'll tell you that uh, officials made the decision earlier today that this house, uh, as a result of this terrible fire earlier today, needed to be torn down. Demolition crews working as we speak made exceptionally fast work of the job, taking the whole thing down in just about an hour. This fire at its worst was a three alarm blaze and came close to destroying many lives. These are men used to working under stress, yet you can still hear the terror in their voices. This Mayday call early Wednesday morning as a trio of firefighters found themselves trapped here, overcome by heat and flames, battling this raging house fire on Essex Street. The firefighters on scene definitely saved the lives of my men. One of the rescuers, firefighter Gregory Jean from Malden. I heard him pounding the window to break it. Then I seen his hand and I reached and I said, brother, give me a hand, brother. Jean says he was just lucky to be standing where he was to be able to respond so fast. Within moments, we turned around and that room was fully involved and, you know, kind of, he said, you saved my life. I said, kind of embraced and went back to just working, doing what we're supposed to do. It's just kind of what we're trained to do. Just one of those things that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. You know, you know how close that it actually was and that it could have been much worse. Saugus firefighter Chris Rizza also found himself helping one of his own. He honestly thought he was going to die in the fire and that, you know, he might not make it out. Uh, he was running really low on air. He, he felt like he had like a couple of seconds left of air and, and that was going to be it. But the best news, though, at the end of the day, those three firefighters who were trapped inside this house got out with only minor burns and minor injuries. We're live in Saugus tonight. Jim Armstrong, WBZ News. 495 is.